Let's see. Um, right, so last uh, week we uh, introduced the um, we worked on Angular, and uh, it was uh, really part of a uh, one of several uh, technologies that we're going to be looking spending for uh, several weeks. Uh, it's a uh, it's the A in the mean stack. Um, so we're going to be working in the mean stack for the remainder of the semester, uh, where it's a uh, really uh, four technologies that uh, work well together, uh, of which Angular is the first one we took a look at. A look at. Uh, today we'll take a look at uh, Node, the N in mean stack, uh, and next week we'll take a look at Mongo. Uh, and so we'll we'll we'll, um, we'll see how they integrate, how, how they talk to one another, uh, and, uh, and so that we can work on the upcoming assignments. Um, uh, up, up to this point, we've been working on mostly on the uh, on the faculty side of, uh, of an assignment, of a project, right? Uh, and uh, last week we started working on the student side of a of the same application. Uh, we had uh, we were looking at the Angular being able to interact with the same database, same services that were built earlier with Java, uh, and uh, uh, but uh, it's uh, presumably it would be a read-only operation where it's uh, used to render. The uh, the courses and modules and lists and topics from the students' point of view, right? Uh, so we'll continue that uh, this week. Um, but there there are certain things that a student will need to be able to write right, or provide some data. Uh, we could stay with Java. There, there's no problem. Angular doesn't really care what the back end is, uh, as long as it speaks JSON and RESTful services. The back end could be anything, right? Uh, but just so that we have an uh, opportunity to introduce a, uh, another middle tier, uh, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll introduce Node today, and then have Angular be able to communicate with, uh, uh, with Node. From Angular's point of view, there's no difference. Uh, you can com communicate with Java just the just same as communicate with, uh, with Node. Uh, again, as long as it uh, uses fetch and talks to a RESTful service. So we'll, we'll look at uh, how to implement a lot of the things that we already know how to implement in Java but implemented using uh, Node.js and the Express package. So today we'll look at both the, the N and the E uh, in mean, where Node is uh, the server, the middle tier, and Express is a, a module, a library that's uh, very popular uh, that allows you to create uh, servers and, and RESTful services very, very easily. Okay. Uh, next week we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about Mongo, which uh, will, will be the last letter in our mean stack, and then we'll we'll be ready to build interesting things. Uh, what uh, what what the assignments will, will be? Uh, there won't be an assignment this this week. Uh, the assignment will be that, uh, uh, for instance, uh, students should be able to, for instance, take a quiz, uh, submit an assignment, uh, provide answers to a quiz. So we'll focus on that part, right? Being able, we'll create another a new widget. We'll create the, the quiz widget. The quiz will have questions and answers, uh, and uh, students will be able to take a quiz, submit their answers, uh, and that will, will be done through Node. Right? And, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the results of those quizzes will be stored in a Mongo database. Right? So it will be using two databases, you know, two services, two databases, which is pretty cool. All right, um, Node, Mongo, that's it. Uh, you should be uh, fully engaged in, uh, in uh, working on, on, on a project, having identified whatever topic uh, uh, is of your interest. Uh, I, think, I think we looked at the requirements, right? The requirements document that's going around. Uh, I think we'll go over again just, just to make sure we, we, we are all on the same page. Uh, but yeah, you should, you should all be engaged in, you know, as a team uh, to work on a, on, on, on a project. At least having um, you know identify an API and uh, you know, created some uh, some test bed for you to query the API, retrieve data, render it maybe as a simple list, uh, maybe go fetch more information, more detailed information about a particular uh, item, and uh, and see if you could maybe render a simple uh, details page. Uh, you should start feeling confident on whatever it is that uh, whatever topic you chose. All right. 